previously on Minecraft Hardcore. Got ourselves four fence gates. It's gonna look terrible. It's gonna be really annoying to go through and do this every time I leave, but you know what? I'm gonna put it up here. Now we have two entrances and exits. So we're back to putting up the wall. We're hopefully gonna finish it up. All right, well, it's not the prettiest thing in the world, but it'll do. We've got our place fully lit up. All right, so as you can see, the village looks nice at night in the distance. I like it. And our place is fully lit up. Nothing's going to be spawning in here. Hello and welcome back to Minecraft Hardcore. This is episode three. We are on day five. We've got our base all lit up. Everything's looking good. The next step is to start building our little home and our little tower. All right, so anyways, as I was saying, uh, we we're starting to think about what we're going to do for our base. And like I said in the last episode, I thought he was climbing over the wall. He's trying to figure out a way to get over, but he won't. Um, as I said in the last episode, uh, building up is definitely useful because I can't really see over the wall right now. Like there's zombies trying to get through at every every turn, and we don't want that. We want to be able to see what's going on. Um, what is that? Oh, that skeleton's got some fancy armor. There's also a hundred skeletons out here. Oh my gosh. Yeah, night is very dangerous on the outside world. Um, we're not even going to think about uh, hunting mobs at all. Honestly, for the most part, is uh, we're going to get all our map stuff from a mob generator, but that, of course, is far in the future. And first things first, we need to get our base set up. As I've been saying over and over, look at that Enderman in the distance. So majestic. So mysterious. All right, so... Our base is going to look kind of stupid, but that's how it's going to be because we just need it to be safe. We don't need it to look good. We want it to look good. We'll upgrade it in the future, don't worry. Um, but at first, it's not going to look great. So without further ado, I'm going to go collect some resources, but you guys don't need to be bored with that, and I will see you soon. I hear skeletons. I'm deep in the strip mine right now. And they are very close. Oh! Sounds like he was just dying? I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe he fell in the lava or something? Oh, maybe not. Maybe there's multiple. Need to be very careful. I have a feeling I'm about to dig into a cave. I can hear them. They're so close. If not, they're on either side of me at the moment. So here's some lava. Skeleton sounds like it's coming from that way, so I bet the lava pool goes this way. So we're going to dig into that cave eventually with the way that we're strip mining. I'll, I'll show you real quick what I'm doing. So yeah, that, that's the pathway back up upstairs. This is that little cave we ran into last episode. Um, and then, yeah, so we're just going all the way down here. Found the lava back there. Then one, two, and dig. That way no block is missed. We see every block that way without having to mine through, you know, taking out huge chunks of walls because that would take forever um but yeah we are definitely afraid of that skeleton so hopefully we don't find it would you look at that our first diamond whoa sorry that was seizure warning <laughs> oh my god jesus that's <laughs> that scared me i put the torch i usually put them on this side and i wasn't even paying attention and i just broke the block with the torch on it and it literally scared the crap out of me oh really is it just one diamond okay we got more we got more we got a couple yeah we got the achievement all right looks like we've got let's make sure there's no lava around always want to dig around the valuables looks like we're okay all right so we got ourselves our first diamonds we've got four that's good we're gonna need full enchanted diamond armor and um, obviously diamond tools are always nice alright so that is a few pickaxes worth of uh, materials acquired We've got a lot of cobblestone um, and I'll show you what we're gonna do with that in a second luckily we don't need to worry about um, sleeping in a bed because our place is lit up so we don't have to worry about jumping up into any monsters because it is physically impossible I hope <laughs> if it isn't then I'm the world's biggest idiot ever 
Alright, everything seems to be good in the world. On the surface, the sun is going down, but that doesn't bother us. The only thing that's going to bo potentially bother me is spiders climbing over the wall or skeletons shooting us from the hills, but I think we're going to be okay. So, first things first, we are going to build a couple more furnaces. By a couple, I meant a few, and we're going to line them up. Oh, that's going to bother me. I need to make one more. Line them up like that and we're gonna start cooking some of this stone and the reason is because we're gonna want stone bricks so we're going I said it wasn't gonna be super aesthetically pleasing and trust me it's not going to be um, but we're gonna make it as good as we possibly can now I have an issue here we need some more coal well that's cooking I'm gonna go back down into the mines so now that we have my let's just block this off we don't need it we can put can put a torch down that'll suffice now that we have my water bucket can navigate this a little better we also have ooh, that's kind of spooky up here gotta be very mindful before we mine anything make sure there's nothing that can sneak up behind me because that would be detrimental we definitely do not want to fall into the lava I think we're good though there's nothing that can come this way let's grab this coal here because we need coal mainly Let's get rid of this lava here, light it up. Gotta love the bucket of water. So, I think if we throw that there, yeah, it'll go that way. Let's quickly light that up before anything decides it wants to come kill us. And, oh, that's how that connects. Okay, yeah, so our tunnels connect like that. Another last thing I wanna do is uh, get lost down here. So, you know, always make sure we have our bearings and we'll be safe. Not the most fun to move this slow in a game, but you know what? It's worth it because the rewards are going to be great and everything. I have so many good ideas and everything is going to turn out awesome. So the rest is just making sure I get myself there and that's enough motivation for me. All right, so we need some more coal. There's some more over here. Um, I will be able to see anything coming. Uh, they can, can't really get to me right now, though. Nothing from over there can get to me unless a skeleton shoots me from across the way, so. But as long as we're on this side of it. God, that bat scared me. I feel like that's going to happen a lot. Bat's just going to come out of nowhere and scare me. Oh my god, no, Mr. Bat. Oh, he just swam in the lava. That's so sad. They do that, though. They just, they just kamikaze into the, the lava sometimes. All right, that was a nice chunk of coal. Grab this iron, we'll go uh, check on our furnaces, we'll go feed our furnaces with the coal we just acquired. Things are looking good now. Speaking of losing my bearings, alright, it's this way. I'm telling you, it's easy to get lost in caves and... Alright, so it is nighttime, so we'll be a little careful. Just look out for spiders is the main thing. Um, I, do I don't know if they spawn in groups, they might, but if they do, I'm screwed, but... We're gonna be okay. We've got our shield, we've got our armor. We'll be all right. So we're back up at the surface. That skeleton's got an enchanted bow looking to end my life. Some creepers around, but creepers won't be an issue. Even if I get close to the wall and they blow up, it'll be fine. Speaking of wall, we need to finish that, but I'm not going to right now because I don't want anything to come looking for me. All right. So let's grab our stone here. Actually, let's dump some stuff. We don't need all this redstone yet, but it's good to start stockpiling. All right, so we're we're cooking here, quite literally. Um, and the base construction is about ready to begin. It's gonna be a long, a long journey, but trust me, I'll show you. It's gonna look ugly, but it'll be worth it. So construction has begun telling you guys what I have in mind is probably gonna look really dumb but we're gonna go for it because we're just we just gotta work with what we've got so hello I was cutting some trees down for my build which by the way this is gonna be a good I think this hill up here is gonna be a good spot to uh, see the progress of my base over time but anyways, that's not the focus of why I'm talking. The focus is, look what I found. I have found one of those nether, uh, shoot, what's it called? Nether 
Ruined portal. I had to Google that. <laughs> so, uh, you know what? It's daytime. We can take a break from building for a sec. Let's go check it out. As always, if we find pigs, they must die. Alright, we're coming up on it here. Um, so I've only found one of these before. I haven't played much of 1.16, but I do know they have a chest. And that's okay. Protection 4 golden chest plate. That's cool. Efficiency 2 golden axe. We got 18 golden nuggets and a golden apple. Alright, we'll take it, you know? We'll take it. I don't really need this axe for anything, but since it's efficiency 2, we might as well chop some trees with it. Golden chest plate. I'm wondering, okay, so is that going to be better than what I have on right now? Obviously, it's going to degrade quicker, but uh, no. But with protection 4, is it? Plus 6 armor, plus 5 armor. No, that's worthless. We don't need this. Get rid of that. We don't need it. We'll take everything else, but we don't need that. All right. Well, that's good to know that that's there. Uh, we have very easy access to the nether. Um, almost stepped on that. Considering it's not, it's just missing one piece of obsidian. I think you can still make it with these pieces of obsidian. Um, I forget what those are called. The nether update's still new to me, so I'll get more used to it as time goes along. But uh, let's keep deforesting this forest. Holy crap, that is fast. Yeah, this is going to run out in two seconds. Alright, well, bye Golden Axe. It was nice knowing you. That was fun while it lasted. Alright, before night falls, um, we are going to plant some trees outside of the west wall just because it'll give me easier access to them. So let's quickly, it's not very quickly, don't want to leave that open. Ah yes, I don't. Trust me, it'll all come together. It looks so dumb right now, but it'll all come together. Let's um make our way back out really quick before it gets too spooky. Plant some trees along. We gotta run. Things are coming. Close the doors. Get inside. Alright, and we are good. So let's continue on our build. Let's hope uh nothing shoots me from up there. Is that a witch? Oh no, that's a horse. <laughs> I thought that was a witch's hat in the distance, but it's just a horse. Um, yeah, the outside world looks very terrifying. I'm not looking forward to that when we have to start collecting ender pearls, but hopefully we'll have a way around that. Oh my god, that scared me. Jeez. I'm in the middle of constructing my floor and my little area. Um, and uh, that Enderman scared me. He may came in here, teleported in here, made a noise, freaked me out. Um, so yeah, quick update. Uh, it's looking real ugly. Um, but trust me, it's gonna look better. Just give it, give it a chance. Let me, let me fix some the outside. Let me fix some things, and I'll explain to you what I'm doing. All right, this Enderman needs to chill out. He's freaking me out. Have I ever told you how much I hate grass? It really just. See what I mean? Every time I try to place a stair on grass, it just gets all screwed up unless I carefully place it every time. This grass is so annoying. Alright, so there's the outside. Now it looks a little better without all the dirt. We still need a door, and then we need to go collect some sand for some glass. Also, can we talk about how it's 1.16? Minecraft has been out for so long. And this still makes three doors. The most annoying thing ever. Three. You either need an even number. You either need one, which is an odd number, or you need an even number. Not freaking three. You never need three doors. I guess you could always just make six, but who uses six doors? All right, we've got our lovely door in place. So it's all coming together here. Let's go gather some sand. It'd be helpful to have a shovel before we uh, collect our sand. All right, we're starting to create this little <laughs> flat desert area um, just by collecting sand. But luckily, we're so close to a desert, and that's just unlimited glass. Pretty much unlimited. Of course it's limited, but, I mean, will I ever need that much? I don't know. We'll find out. Watch. It'll be like episode 600, destroying the last bit of desert or something like that. That'd be so funny. All right, let's start cooking this. And then I'm going to finish the rest of... Uh, what I have planned for this base. 
All right, we are just about to complete finally with this. Most important thing is to keep it lit so nothing comes in. And also we need to find our way down safely. We're almost done, we just need to add the windows. You know what, we're fine. Just do that. We need to add the windows and we need to also build the interior a little bit. I'll show you what we're looking at here. We're just gonna jump down because I have full food. Nothing spookies in here, we're all good. Uh, okay, first of all, one second, we need to get rid of this dirt everywhere. As well as grab our glass, make some panes out of it. Holy shit, that's a lot of panes, whoops. Oh well. And we'll start adding in the windows. Alright folks, we have it. The beginning starter base is complete. And you may be thinking to yourself, Ryan, this is the ugliest build I have ever seen in my entire life, and you would be absolutely 100% correct. It is extremely ugly, but I have an idea that I think you're going to like. So you see how I kind of set it up. Uh, it looks dumb at the top, right? It has a roof um, for safety purposes, but it does look really dumb. Um, so what I was planning on doing is just kind of making like a, a tower like come back out and just keep building up and and the reason I'm not going to do that right now is because this is this current build in its current state uh, the materials used are representative of the biome around me obviously we've got oak trees we've got stone underground um, and that's basically all I used uh, except for glass but glass is you know universal um so why not it's gonna be it's ugly now of course it's ugly now um you know what i might add windows here much better now as i was saying um we're gonna keep building this up and the reason we're gonna keep building it up is because we don't really have much room to build out and we have no reason to build out when we can build up so what we're gonna do is we're going each layer is going to be representative of different biomes i explore um, so this one's representative of the one I started in, uh, which is the plains biome and, uh, you know, the oak forest biome over there that kind of meld together. Um, and I think, I think since we're so close to that desert, uh, my next biome layer I'm going to add is going to be desert. And, uh, I think that'll, it's going to be ugly, you know, it's going to be super ugly, but I think it's going to turn out kind of cool and kind of like representative of the different places I've explored and the memories I've made along the way. And uh, we're gonna leave it right there, ladies and gentlemen. That uh, concludes episode three of Minecraft Hardcore. We are on day nine. We are thriving. Next episode, we're gonna build some farms and life is gonna be great. See you then.